So right now the drone is uh, only 24 meters away and 15 meters only in the air and it cannot scan me at all. It's only scanning the car but not me. Such a disappointment. So here uh, the drone is only 5 meters in the air and 20 meters away from me, 28 meters away from me. Still it cannot scan me at all. Just scanning the car. It's scanning me but losing me same time. I don't know what kind of moving object it needs to scan. Here I'm standing in front of it right, right now. Here it lost the car also. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. DJI has just released a new software update for basically all of their flagship devices. Like the DJI Mini 4 Pro, DJI Air 3, Air 3S, DJI Neo. But it seems like we have a problem here on DJI Mini 4 Pro. Many users have reported this issue constantly. That issue is regarding the focus track. So right now I have uh, these two Mini 4s here with me. One of them is uh, old firmware, one is on the new firmware. In this video, I will take off both of these drones one by one and actually see if that issue that does exist. The weather is also again windy today. So I'm gonna fly both of these drones one by one. Let's see what is the issue we are facing right now. By the end of this video, I will also show you if you are facing this issue after the software update, I will show you how to downgrade that and get rid of that problem until the DJI solves that problem. DJI really need to look after their users because these are the flagship devices. So we cannot be having any kind of these bugs. So let's quickly see first about this update. So here on the update, uh, so we are here in the DJI Fly app. Here you can see the drone is having a new software update available and it's showing us just uh, some minor bugs fixes, minor non, uh, minor issues fixed. We don't know what is fixed, we are having even more problems here. So I even have these two radios also here. So let's first of all fly the drone with the old firmware. Let's see how does that perform problem which we are having here now. So when the drone is in the air and you try to do the focus track, it will lose the objects. Basically it's losing mainly humans. The other object is still scanning them, but when it comes to the human, it just, it will pick up, it will lose. So let's see. All right, let's take off on this firmware and let's see how this works. Then I'll take off the other one and we'll compare it to the... Point Even the weather is also really windy right now. My drone is shaking in the air. Let me show you. Here is the drone. Even it looks nice also when it's in the air. And there it is. It's just fighting with the wind. It's not stable in the air. My side, the weather is always windy. Here you can just see the condition right now. And there is a drone struggling with the wind. Trying to maintain the position. All right, coming back to the topic. All right, here I am in the air. So. This firmware is old. There is picking up my car and it's picking up myself as well. And it is pretty stable if I just tap on it uh, myself. There I am in the frame now. And then after that, uh, just the normal uh, active track uh, starts. So here just now is tracking me on spotlight mode. Basically, I'm not uh, doing the active track. So it's just keeping me in the frame. This is the old firmware. Let me just remove myself and there is still showing me the object is still there. Uh, my altitude is about uh, 16 and there it constantly is showing both of the objects. And let's see how quick it will pick up the objects here. I will just stay a little bit away from the road like this. All right, there the car is passing. It picked up. Obviously, the car is gone from the frame. So I have this. Uh, I have a group of people here. Let me just go towards them, and let's see if it's going to uh, get each and every one of them, uh, and going to scan them and get them into the scanning. Here, yeah, there it just showing me all the objects pretty nicely. Let's bring it back. Uh, let me fly the other one with the new software update and let's see exactly 
if we are really facing an issue. Landing. All right, so here I have the second one with the software version of 01.00.0800. This is the latest software update which we just did today. Uh, so let's see what is the difference now if we're really having any issue here. Let me take off quickly. Let's go to... So here right now the drone is only 20 meters up in the air. And there I can see I'm standing in front of the drone. And uh, it's just scanning the car only but not me. Let me try to zoom. Yeah, the moment I zoomed it got me in the frame and then it just lost me. So there is a, a bit of a problem. So it gets and then it loses the object same time. The drone is only 40 meters away. It is not supposed to do that. So this issue is basically happening only on the humans. So if here you can see, it can see me clearly, but not getting me and then loses again. So if you are... There is a definitely, there is an issue with this software update. Like this problem, uh, you see when you zoom it, then it gets the object. But it's not that far, it's only 20 meters away. Even right now it's 14 meters away, but it's not scanning me, only the car is not scanning me. It can see me clearly moving, but it's not scanning me. So there is a really, there is a clearly, the issue is there. DJI really needs to work out on this. Now this, these are the flagship devices, we cannot be affording these kind of issues. The drone is only 14, 14 meters up in the air and it's not scanning me. Even it has lost a car also now. I can't see any object there. Yeah, and it is on the focus track. But I don't see any objects there. Obviously when I will do a scan, then it will show me but uh, that, that, well, then, that why the, why then why that option is there, the focus track. It is supposed to scan the objects by itself. So it just tries to get me and then it loses me again. So right now the drone is uh, only 24 meters away and 15 meters only in the air and it cannot scan me at all. It's only scanning the car but not me. So if you are somewhere where you want to quickly capture the moments and this option, that's why DJI provided us this option to use it, but we cannot use it in this, if we do update the software. Here you can see it's just picking up and then losing the object same time. On the previous, uh, on the other drone, it was not like this. Even if it was losing, but then it was getting and then getting stable. But here on this one, it's not even picking me up right now. It just picks up and loses same time and then it does not even pick up for 5-10 seconds. Such a disappointment. So here, uh, the drone is only 5 meters in the air and 20 meters away from me, 28 meters away from me. Still, it cannot scan me at all. Just scanning the car. It's scanning me but losing me same time. I don't know what kind of moving object it needs to scan. Here I'm standing in front of it right, right now. Here it lost the car also. So there is something, uh, a glitch or bug, something is there which DJI needs to work on. To buy an expensive device like this and then we have these kind of problems, the, those are not acceptable. DJI really needs to work out on this and get rid of these problems. So I will suggest you to not update your software uh, until this problem is fixed. If you are owning uh, this DJI Mini 4 Pro and this problem is basically is reported on Mini 4 Pro. Air 3 and Air 3S they don't have this kind of problems is only reported on this Mini 4 Pro and we just saw it also now there is a problem. Uh, so if you have not updated your software yet you should skip this software update and wait for the next software update while the DJI fixes this. So now let me show you if you have updated your software already and now you are regretting and you want to downgrade your software to the previous one you had. Uh, let me show you how to do that. Alright, here to downgrade the firmware, uh, the solution is very quick. You need to have a computer with the Windows PC on. So here I have installed this uh, DJI Assistant 2 
consumer series you can download it from the official uh, website like on the google you can just type dji assistant 2 and then you can just download it from the first link available so just open it up connect your drone with the type c cable to your computer and there is showing me my drone here the moment you click on it it will show you what firmware you have currently and what downgrades are available and here you can see we have this downgrade available for 0.01.00.0700 0 .00 and we can uh, quickly downgrade it if you want to sometime if you are too late then uh, you will see the previous update is not flashable anymore but right now uh, this update is still available to flash so here to click on uh, we just need to click on downgrade and the start the update so it will just basically just download uh, the firmware and it will just start flashing into the drone straight so here you can see it's just downloading the firmware right now then it will just start downgrading the drone the downloading is done now it's just transmitting uh, the update to the drone then it will just start uh, flashing the this old firmware so this was my take on this new software update on this dji mini 4 pro if you do like the video please subscribe my channel until next time ciao ciao